thank you for joining me on Word of Inspiration. This is Dr. Bertha Serwa Ayi, and I present a program that is designed to encourage you in your daily living and to motivate you to fulfill God's potential for your life. Today, I want to talk about time, and I have a short message that I've entitled Time and Opportunity. And my text is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 11, and it reads, And I returned, and I saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor the bread to the wise, or riches to men of understanding, neither yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happens to them all. And my hope is that by the end of this message, you will understand that for every opportunity, there's a particular time period in which this needs to be, something needs to be done. And if you miss it, it doesn't matter your skill level, you might not be able to achieve that purpose. So this verse simply says, it's not the wisest, nor the strongest, nor the smartest people who get ahead in life. But one thing is common. They all have time allotted to them and opportunities present themselves and you just have to take advantage of it. And as you listen to this message, I want you to think of your own life, certain opportunities that presented themselves and what you did with them. And sometimes the opportunities are gone. You can't do anything about it anymore. Let me illustrate with a simple example. I love shopping at Dillard's. I love their clothes. And there's a particular item that, that I, I wanted to get. It was $113. And I thought, it's too much. I don't want to pay money for that. But then it went on sale. And it actually came into my email. It was 40% off. It was down to $68. And I thought, well, I'll try and get it. And then I had an opportunity. One, for one thing, I could have bought it online. But my son happened to be playing soccer in a town where there was a Dillard store. So I thought, I'll get it. I got there on Friday, Saturday, and I thought, well, the games will be over on Sunday. Well, when I got to the store on Sunday, I was told the sale was over. It's back to its regular price. Gee, the, the sale ended at 12 midnight, and there was nothing I could do about it. I was seeing the item, but I couldn't get it at the lower price. And it had been at that price for probably four or five days. I did everything. I talked to the store manager. I called the corporate office. They said, sorry, ma'am. In fact, our system has been programmed to end the 40% sale at 12 midnight on Saturday. I had missed the opportunity. How many times do we do that in life where that's a time period for you to get something done and then you keep postponing or you don't even recognize that it's the time to get that done? Think of the Olympics, you know, the Summer Olympics. You could be the fastest person in this world. If you don't show up for the Summer Olympics and show up for your particular event at the time it's allotted, it's gone. Think of the 100 meter race. They probably assign maybe two minutes to it. Two minutes for you to line up, the gun goes off and you're running. If Usain Bolt in the 2016 Olympics decides, you know what, I'm the fastest man in the world. I'm not going to show up. I'll show up when I want. It doesn't matter how fast he is. If, the, if he misses the event, he's not going to be crowned. That's what I'm talking about. Time and opportunity. Time and chance. Are there opportunities in your life that you should be taking advantage of? Sometimes when it's gone, it's gone. Let me get, illustrate with an example. My husband's maternal, grandfa maternal grandfather is Mr. S. O. Glover, one of the founders of Great Olympics. He liked him a lot. And getting to the end of his life, one day, he asked for him to come over. Apparently, he was on his deathbed and wanted to tell him something. He kept on asking, is he coming? Is he coming? And my husband thought, I'll go there the next day. Well, when he got there, the man had passed away. And to date, he questions, what is it that Nini wanted to tell me? He would never know because he missed the opportunity. What other opportunities are you missing in life? And if you've missed some, I don't want you to give up on yourself because I'm about to share with you a story from the book of John chapter 5. The Bible says near the sheep market, there was a pool and there were many type of disabled people, some blind, some deaf. They were all sitting at this pool because at a particular season, an angel came and stirred the waters and whoever got in first, you got healed of whatever disease it was. This man had been sitting at the pool for 38 years because he just wasn't fast enough based on his disability. And so one day, Jesus passed by, saw him and said, do you want to be made whole? The first thing he said was, I have no man. I have no man to take me to the pool. So when it stares up, that's why I've been sitting here for 38 years. Jesus just said, 
rise up, take up your bed and walk. What is the point of this story? It's to let you know that time is linked to opportunity. There's a season for the stirring up. This man had been missing it because he didn't have any skill. He didn't have what it takes to get into the pool. But when Jesus comes, he's able to take those lost opportunities and turn them into an advantage. Today, have you told yourself, I have no man? And I'm not talking about a physical man. Maybe for some of you, really, you have no man to help you make a connection. But maybe you're giving excuses. I don't have talent. I don't have favor. I'm not strong enough. When you have to solve a problem or a challenge comes your way, your first thing is to look at is your disability. I have nothing. I have no this. But today I want you to know that if you have Jesus, God will help you to overcome whatever it is. Jesus is the best opportunity that can ever happen to you. Jesus came on this earth. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. He's the best opportunity of all time. Have you accepted him into your life? Have you heard about him and said, you know, maybe I'll, I'll accept Jesus tomorrow. I want to enjoy living in sin a little. I want to live the way I want. I don't want to give my life to Christ just yet. Well, don't keep on like this and maybe miss the opportunity. Life is short. Ecclesiastes 9 tells us, as you read the rest of it, not only does it talk about time and chance, it says we're here today and gone tomorrow. You never know what would happen. Is it time to accept Christ into your life? Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the time and opportunities that you've given to us. Give us the wisdom to recognize when there's an opportunity and when there's a season attached to that opportunity that we make, we take full advantage of it and we don't miss out. This is what we ask with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his countenance to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Say this after me. I'm a winner. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm the head and not the tail. Today, I will take advantage of the opportunities that come my way. It doesn't matter whether I'm not fast, I'm not strong, I'm not the smartest person, nor I don't have any skill, because time and chance happens to them all. And say the Lord's Prayer on your own. God richly bless you for joining me. This has been Dr. Bertha Ayi presenting Word of Inspiration. Please join me next time, and you have a beautiful day.